It's been so long since I've done this. I don't remember what to say. Hi everybody, I'm Evan G. Cooper, and this past weekend, I went to one of the biggest rivalry games in the country. Alabama versus Auburn. I was there to witness it, and I'm here to tell you all about it. It is the Dust College Football, the Iron Bowl edition, folks! Now let's meet your starting lineup for Evan G. Cooper Dives College Football. The only one that matters. Here he is. The one. The only. Evan G. Cooper. Oh. So while at the Iron Bowl this past weekend, there was one thing that really stood out to me among everything else. Beer, barbecue, boat shoes, and Yeti coolers. They're everywhere. Every single guy had on a pair of boat shoes. Everybody was walking around with a beer. Everybody was eating barbecue. And there was a Yeti cooler every time you turned around. Not just like a small Yeti cooler, like the big Yeti cooler. It's like, who spends their money on that? Tailgaters, do it. And they're everywhere. But, you know, hey, I enjoyed it. I wore my boat shoes. I drank my root beer. And yes, America, it was a root beer. Cheers. I ate some barbecue and I was I was an Auburn Alabamian for the weekend. It was perfect. War Eagle! Hey. Okay, so I will admit I DVR'd the game just so I could go home and rewatch it to see if I saw my beautiful face on television. But when I was rewatching the game, side note, I did not find myself on TV, okay? I just pretend. But while I was watching the playback, Vernon Gary. If you're an avid college football watcher, you know Vernon Gary, right? Okay, Vernon Gary, let me give you a little bit of professional advice since my career in television far exceeds yours. You know, these ETC does college football videos have just kind of taken off. We've done part one, part two, part three, and now we're on part four. So this is my advice to you. First of all, you're annoying. The way you speak is annoying. And second of all, if you're going to talk about sports, it might be advisable that you learn each player's name and the correct teams they play for. Just a thought. You know like when Cher does it, or you're like, flips her hair. It's like a Beyonce way of saying like, I don't know, you just got like, you got long hair and so you just like grab underneath it and you just throw it back. So as we all know, the Iron Bowl is one of the biggest rivalry games in the country. And my football career started this year, I will be honest. Um, I've been to two Auburn games, I've been to two Alabama games, but I've never been to a game with the Auburn and Alabama fans in the same stadium until this past weekend. And guys, it was a little intense. I'm not gonna lie. It was a little more than I could handle. Through my college football experience, I have um, I've kind of claimed the Auburn side of things. If I had to, I know Alabama's a winning team. Auburn's gonna do better next year. Just they just need they just needed this year to kind of get a little pep in their step. But Auburn fans, they have a lot more fun than Alabama fans. They're classier, except for the four Auburn fans that sat behind us at the Iron Bowl. They were completely wasted. They were yelling to the top of their lungs. They were being obnoxious. And I almost turned around and punched them. For real. Almost decked the boys in their face. But when it's all said and done, Alabama won. Everybody was happy. And we watched Alabama at the championship game. Wait, wasn't it the championship game? Some bowl. SEC championship game. SEC championship game. Now they're going to... Wait, the national championship, right? We're on the playoffs. The playoffs. I'm going to be there. Not really. Where's it at? Texas. Here you go. Ha <laughs> ha! I know, see? I'm good. Where's the national championship at? Um, isn't it in Pasadena? Arkansas. No. Um, hold on. It starts with an A. Um, ah, Arizona. I knew it was somewhere. Good. Uh, um, Roll Tide! Well, 
folks, I came, I saw, I conquered. It's the end of an era for EGC Does College Football. Thank you for coming alongside of me and enjoying the ride. Thank you for putting up with my unwholesome talk, my trashy mouth, my fat jokes, excuse me, sturdy jokes, can't offend anyone. And most importantly, thank you, friends, for laughing. I figured there was no better way to end EGC Does College Football than with a few of my favorite memories from part one, two, three. Here's some of my favorite clips from past episodes. It's been fun. It's been real. We'll see you next year. Peace, love, and EGC. Yes, America, I know there are four quarters in a football game, and each quarter lasts 12 minutes, but... It's 15 minutes. It's like three minutes. It's okay. There are fat people that go to college football games. Maybe I shouldn't have used the word fat, but there are sturdy people that go to football games. Thank God, homegirl next to me came in in the second quarter. Thank God I had like the first whole quarter to myself. She was very hippie. I mean, not like flower power hippie, like hippie. And her better half was like hippier and sturdier than she was. And so his hippiness and sturdiness spilled onto her hippiness and sturdiness. And then it spilled on to me and I was sitting there like this the whole time. If you are and you go to college football games, stand by the field. Hey, Tigers! We just beat the out of you! Rammer, jammer, yellow hammer, give them Alabama! They love body paint. And not just like face paint, airbrush tattoos, or like LSU across their face, like they will paint their entire chest. So, as an ode to all the LSU fans, even though I personally don't like LSU fans, I really don't even like Alabama fans, I really don't even like football, but I decided that I would honor them by painting my chest. So, I, Evan G. Cooper, painted my chest. LSU fans, this is for you. Bada get a bada get a bada get a ba. Ra ra ra. This boom ba. I don't know it. Weagle, weagle, war beagle. Kick him in the butt, big blue. Hey! Woo! I have the worst scream ever. Ah! <laughs> Sorry, kitty. <laughs> Auburn's pregame overall is just so much more exciting than Alabama's. Their marching band, their colors are better. The eagle flying around the stadium. Alabama doesn't have a giraffe. Bruh. It's an elephant. Hi everybody, I'm here with Auburn's official mascot, Abby the Tiger. Abby, what did you think about this weekend's game? Y'all don't care nothing about Auburn until they start losing. And y'all make me so mad I can just paint your little scrawny head off of your scrawny little body. And it don't matter what y'all think, it don't matter what y'all say, Auburn will always be number one in my book. What? Clearly, Abby was not impressed with this weekend's game. Thanks for watching EGC Does College Football The After Show. That's a wrap, folks. <laughs>